Hello there, it's Austin, and today we're brewing one of my favorites, a Municellus. So let's get started. For this batch, we'll be using filtered water along with brewing salts to adjust that water. The base of the malt bill will be Pilsner malt with Munich and Melanoidin making up the specialty. We'll be using Huel Melon Hops for this recipe, which is a great name. And finally, lactic acid, a foam inhibitor, German ale yeast, and a clarifying agent. Starting off with the water, because we're aiming for a three and a half gallon batch, which is a keg and a little extra, that means 4.75 gallons of filtered water into the kettle. Next, we'll start warming the kettle up to mash temperature, or 149 Fahrenheit. While that's warming up, we'll go ahead and add the following brewing salts. We're aiming for a maltier profile, which means we're a little heavier on the calcium chloride. Then it's time to mill our grains in this proportion of Belgian Pilsner, Munich Light, and Melanoidin malt. Once it's all milled up, go ahead and add it to your preheated mash, and then stir it up to make sure you don't have any grains stuck together. Final step before our mash rest is adding two milliliters of lactic acid. One hour later, we'll bump our kettle temperature up to 170 degrees to perform a mash out. After the kettle's reached 170 degrees, pull your grains out and let them drain. During this draining process, I like to take some wort from the bottom of the kettle and rinse it back through the grains on the top. This kind of uses the grains as a natural filter, ensuring that we have the cleanest wort possible going into our fermenter. And now that we have that nice clean wort, we'll set it to boil and add a little bit of foam inhibitor. If you haven't seen my video about reusing spent grains to make pretzels, this is the step I'll pull those grains out and dry them off to make flour. I'll link that here. Once the bakery's closed up shop, we'll head back to the boil and add some hops. I'll be adding the earlier mentioned Huel Melon at 60 minutes and at flame out. At the conclusion of the boil, it's time to drop our wort down to temperature, which means, you guessed it, stirring. Once the wort's down at temperature, it's time to transfer into the fermenter. I'm using a 7 gallon SS Brutec conical with extensions to fit my smaller batch size. After checking the gravity of the wort and confirming it did in fact have gravity, it's time to pitch the yeast. I'm using a German ale strain, but fermenting at closer to lager temperatures. I let this beer ferment at 58 degrees for about a week and a half until airlock activity slowed down, and then I bumped it up to 72 degrees and checked the final gravity to confirm it was where I wanted it to be. Two and a half weeks after yeast pitch, it was ready to transfer to the keg and drop down into the kegerator. I planned on setting it to serving pressure and leaving it for a couple weeks, but got impatient and poured a pint to taste and review about a week later. Final thoughts on the Melon Hellas. To start with the clarity, the clarity really isn't there yet, which isn't too much of a problem. I hasn't been on tap for very long, so I do believe it will eventually clear up. I think the taste is really good. It's bright and the melon hops come through really well. The melon hops give kind of like a hybrid noble tropical taste that I really like. And uh, I think the malt backbone balances out to, to give it overall a good refreshing crisp and um, fruity flavor. This beer also has a good amount of sentimental value for me. Well not this beer specifically, but this is one of the recipes that I got to brew for my wedding. And I think every time I have it on tap, it's uh, kind of brings me back a little bit to being there with all of my friends and family. And everybody had to compliment it because I was the one getting married. We got to make bottles that have melon on it and she looks scary, which is funny. You look ridiculous. Overall, I think even without the nostalgia, the flavor comes through and makes this an excellent lager to have on tap. Cheers.